$639 million leveraged crypto positions liquidated in just 24 hours. Bitcoin dumped off, Dogecoin dumped off, Shiba dumped off, crypto across the entire board is dumping and people are freaking out. These are also the highest amount of liquidations that we have seen since the previous cycle at the rate that people are selling their Bitcoin. Now, how does this correlate to AMC? How does this correlate to our meme stocks, squeeze stock? Well, we talked about how last time when AMC, GameStop, other short squeeze plays were squeezing, there was extreme health in the overall market. First, we checked that one off the list with the S&P 500 sitting at an all-time high up to 554.64, continuing to push higher. But what else? During this crypto liquidation is when AMC had its move up to $70 before it split, of course, now up to 300 something that you can see right here. Bitcoin flashed down, crashed down right here, crashed again, and simultaneously, when it bottomed, when it hit its bottom, which could be this Friday, AMC had its massive move up. Take a look, you cannot make this up. We have a lot of stuff to talk about, so what am I trying to get at here? Before we get into AMC's chart, GameStop's chart, and explain to you what I'm doing and how I'm setting up for the week ahead, I want to thank you all who smashed the like button and help out the channel. It is free. So thank you guys again. Much love. If we take a look at AMC's chart, every single thing that we have been calling out has played out to a T. That means we have about a week left to July 12th to July 15th for AMC to come finish this pattern right here before squeezing straight up to the moon. What does that mean? That means you take a look at Bitcoin, you had this flush down right here, and then one more week, we're on the weekly time frame, flush down to hit its low. Now, this doesn't mean Bitcoin is necessarily going to do that, but we're going to get into Bitcoin's chart a little bit later. We had this flush down. Chances are we have one more week to flush down again, which is when AMC finishes this pattern, and then AMC squeezes straight up, straight up higher. With that being said, AMC could hang around anywhere between $4.40 to $6.30 by July 15th to July 20th. And that is what I see happening. Overall, if the pattern plays out to a T, we're coming down between 450 and 460, bottoming out this week, okay? AMC is going to look a little red this week. That's when you load up. Not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, but in my opinion, that is what I'll be doing, right? And then you have the next moves ahead. Now, a couple other things before we get into GameStop, AMC's on balance volume is at all time highs, which means more people are holding on than ever. And also the MACD has flipped to green on the monthly time frame, which is also very bullish for AMC. Okay, GameStop. Before we get into GameStop's chart, I find this very interesting. A TradingView user, Wonton Wallet, predicted GameStop's price action on December 10th of 2023, claiming that GameStop will see a squeeze like Tesla, and we heard it time and time again. However, when this post was dropped December 10th of 2023, he stated GameStop will go to $62 in April. Now, he was one month off, just about, right? Because we did hit $65. Then he said $89 between July and August, which we're now sitting in this time frame and we're expecting GameStop to have a move. And then he said ultimately $331 target to be achieved in December of 2024 or January of 2025. It is indeed a long-term trade, which that $300 $50 range, $380 range is something that we have called out for GameStop to come up to realistically in the near future. Now, GameStop's chart, this is the pattern overlaid to play it out very simply for you guys what I'm watching. This week, okay, mark my words, GameStop will be between $29. $34, we're watching for the first couple of trading days. We're looking for those nice gains off rip on GameStop, which means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're gonna have accumulatively a 20 to 40% gain. And then potentially to finish the week before starting the week after, GameStop does come up to between $37 and $55 in that high range, okay? We're also waiting because Roaring Kitty may potentially be dropping something. Now, the next question is, is COS over with? First of all, I just want to say COS has a borrow rate of 99%, which is a good thing to see. This is something that COS is setting up for if GameStop and AMC are matching their January to June squeezes. COS doing the same thing. Had this leg up right here, consolidated real quick, and then another leg up. This is kind of what COS is playing out right now. Could this have been the top? Sure. 
right? This also lines up with the midline on cost, which is where a lot of stocks top out so that they don't enter a new trading range. This could have very well been the top on cost, but extremely high risk, extremely high reward play, seeing that if AMC and GameStop are moving, costs could very well have the same move as it had back here. Keep in mind, could see another 200% move on cost, bringing it up to around $40. Now, in the video I uploaded the other day, we talked about other squeeze plays that are going to follow AMC, GameStop, and costs. And I also apologize for not uploading yesterday. It was a busy day, but make sure to go watch that if you guys wanna see what stocks will potentially follow. Now, Robinhood apparently has pulled shares back in after somebody tried to transfer their GameStop shares out of Robinhood. Now, this could be a factor of a few reasons. They didn't have the shares. They basically failed to deliver on them. But basically, E-Trade stated that, hey, Robinhood requested your shares back. Now, you also don't necessarily own your shares when you're holding them in your broker. It's kind of like a, a written agreement that they will get you these shares in any other circumstance, but in this one, they couldn't. So drop your tinfoil hat theories in the comments down below. Now, I want to jump into Bitcoin because this is major what's happening with Bitcoin. We're seeing a flush down. First of all, want you to note we called this out perfectly. A break under 57,000 going to bring you to 54. We broke under 57,000 wick down right to 54. Now, Bitcoin is still holding the 2618 on the FIB, which is 57,000. We're sitting at 57,200, even though we wicked under. I think it shook a lot of people out, but there were a lot of buyers here buying up that dip. Now, if GameStop does come crashing down, watch between 40,000 and 45,000 for the very, very bottom, which is where I will be adding a boatload of Bitcoin if it does come down to. If this does remain bearish and bears show extreme strength, you're coming back down to break under 54. May get held up around 49 to 46, but probably not for long before free falling between 40 and 45. Okay. 40 and 45 bottom on Bitcoin. Just keep an eye on that. Also, Dogecoin, I think another dip buying opportunity hitting basically lows down here. We said Dogecoin has to hold 11 cents. We're now trading under 11 cents. We dipped all the way down to around 90 cents. There's a demand zone down here that Dogecoin held between 85 cents and 10 cents. And that's something that we're watching on Dogecoin. I think anytime it dips into this box, I will be adding more Dogecoin to my position. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but this is a beautiful zone in my opinion to accumulate more dogecoin and if it breaks under this it's likely going to trade for a while before having another rally last but not least tesla tesla coming up to 251.52 looking beautiful it has earnings july 23rd and the reason i'm bringing that up is because this same move plays out very similar moves that tesla usually has had in the past it also broke out of a descending resistance level on tesla the previous moves have lasted about a hundred percent and what i want to note is that coming into strong earnings strong moves on earnings tesla is likely to again push up on strong earnings earnings. Now Tesla coming into earnings is only up 78%. Bringing us to that around 100% range is exactly the level we called out at $280. And I think by July 23rd, Tesla will be hitting $280. Will that be the top? Maybe, maybe not. But this is what I expect to happen for Tesla. Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to enjoy your weekend. The third link under the video, we dropped earnings in the Discord. We're going to talk stocks and crypto before the week starts, so make sure to get into there. Come talk with us. Come talk with the most amazing people, stocks, as well as crypto all day long. We also have options trading alerts in there on the daily. I post my trades as soon as I take them in my personal portfolio. Overall, best vibes. Get in the Discord. Cheapest Discord for the value. It's a coffee a month. Again, that's the third link under the video, and I will pin it in the very very top of the comments. The second link under the video will also help you out get free money if you're struggling or if you just want free money and good benefits. Open a Moomoo account using my link and make a deposit into there to start earning free stocks all the way up to 15 free stocks in which you can hold on to or you can sell. Take the cash completely up to you. We're also giving you 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash. Level 2 order book data for free. Access to trading options going long, going short, viewing other exchanges and more all for free. So use my link, open an account and make a deposit into there. And of course, last but not least, oh, get my custom indicator. It's the top link under the video, pattern detection and forecasting. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I love you all. God bless. Lottery socks out.